Welcome to the course on dealing with materials data. In this course we are going to learn about collection, analysis and interpretation of data from uh, material science and engineering. We are in the third module, this is the module on probability distributions. Uh, specifically we are going to learn about properties of probability distributions in this session. And uh, one way to think about measurements that we do in the laboratory is that every measurement is a random sample from a probability distribution. Uh, for example, we have been looking at this case of conductivity of ETP copper. Uh, what we did is to make some 20 measurements and look at the data and found out how it is distributed, what its mean value is, what the standard deviation is and things like that. You can also think of uh, the conductivity data to be a normal distribution uh, with a true mean and the standard deviation. And you can think of the different measurements we made as uh, random sampling from this probability distribution. So this is another way of thinking about the experiment. And uh, in this scenario then judging the accuracy of the experimental measurement uh, because we know that it should be a distribution like that and any variation from that uh, um, uh, because of random deviations is the noise. And so if we understand the underlying probability distribution better then we will be able to understand the accuracy uh, better in our measurements. Uh, we are going to use the following notation xi is a measurement of the random variable x. P of x equal to xi is basically the probability distribution. So it is a function that gives the probability of the measurement of the random variable x resulting in the value of small x in the ith measurement. So that is what uh, this means. And uh, if x can take only discrete values uh, then uh, p of x is discrete and it is known as probability mass function or PMF. And if x is a continuous variable p of x is continuous and is known as probability density function PDF. So we are going to be dealing with uh, both, uh, we will start with uh, uh, discrete distributions and we will go to continuous distributions as we move along. Now what are some of the properties of this uh, probability distribution? So they are defined over the domain of allowed values of x. Uh, outside of this domain typically they are assumed to be 0 and uh, this p of x uh, is a real and non-negative number. This is because we have already said that it is a probability. Uh, so it has to be real, it has to be non-negative. and. Uh, because it is probability, because uh, the probability of all the events should add up to 1, uh, so it is also normalized. So these values will lie uh, between um, 0 and 1, so we, we will normalize it. And uh, it can be multidimensional in which case you get uh, uh, joint uh, PMF or PDF. Uh, so we are uh, looking at uh, one dimension x equal to xi, it need not be, you can have x, y, z, etc. So multidimensional or joint probability distributions are possible. Uh, when you have uh, such multidimensional distributions, uh, sometimes you can define what is known as marginal PDF. Suppose P of x comma y is a joint probability distribution for the variables x and y. If you sum or integrate over one of the quantities, uh, then you get uh, the distribution function as a function of only one of the variables. This is known as the marginal PDF. Uh, so it basically becomes independent of the second variable. You can also get what is known as conditional uh, probability distribution. Uh, so P of x given y, so the pipe symbol basically is stands for given. So given y, what is the probability of x uh, and that is uh, given by um, and, and there is a formula, so p of x given y is uh, equal to the joint probability divided by, f, by p of y. Um, you can also calculate p of y given x and that will also be joint probability x y divided by p of x. Uh, in all this we are assuming that p x and p y are not 0, otherwise you cannot divide by uh, p x or p y. So that is also important. And this also tells you that if p of x given y happens to be just p of x then x and y are independent. So you do not have to worry about uh, um, the, the condition that y is given. And in those cases you can also see that uh, the joint probability distribution p of x y will become p of x p of y. 
sometimes p is also denoted by f and we will also do it sometimes and that is to indicate that these quantities are uh, uh, sort of frequencies of occurrence of the event uh, x. So, we can also interpret it as the frequency of occurrence of any given event um, x. So, let us uh, continue to look at some of the properties of probability distributions like we mentioned earlier probability distributions are normalized. Uh, the mean value is the expectation of uh, x over the density functions. We have said that, that p of x is basically the uh, probability of uh, the random variate picking that value x. So, if you take uh, all those uh, values and um, uh, all those probabilities multiply by the value itself and sum or integrate uh, then you get what is known as expectation and that happens to be the mean value. Um, and the variance uh, is expectation of a squared deviation from mean. So, you take the value, you take the difference of, uh, of uh, it with the mean and you square it and you take an expectation for this quantity, uh, then you get what is known as variance. Uh, we have seen this uh, in, in, the, in one of the previous sessions also when we talked about uh, moments. Uh, so, variance is basically a second central moment. Uh, that is it is a moment about the mean and we have also looked at uh, skewness and kurtosis. These are third and fourth central moments and th they are normalized by sigma cube and sigma power 4 where sigma is the standard deviation. So, this we have looked at in one of the earlier sessions. Uh, we have defined uh, skewness and kurtosis and uh, so they are defined for the probability distributions. We have also looked at cumulative distribution function. So, this is one of the things when we did when we did the descriptive statistics. So, uh, from the empirical data we have looked at the cumulative distribution. Of course, you can also define uh, cumulative distribution for any given probability distribution and that is denoted by capital F of x. Uh, capital F of x basically gives the probability that the value um, uh, is uh, um, the, the, the the cumulative probability that the value is uh, does not exceed x is what it uh, stands for. And 1 minus f of x is uh, known as the survival function, it is the probability that the value actually exceeds x. So, f of x is the cumulative distribution function, 1 minus f of x is the survival function. Cumulative uh, distribution functions uh, uh, and their inverses are needed to determine the confidence intervals. Uh, when we look at uh, uh, parameter estimation or hypothesis testing, we will see that uh, these are important. Uh, for example, f inverse of 0.25, uh, what does that mean? f of x equal to 0.25, so it gives you the x value uh, for which the um, probability does not uh, exceed um, 0.25. And similarly, f inverse of 0.75 gives it for the um, third uh, quantile. So, if you calculate these two values, so the inverse function basically tells you the x range uh, for which the, the 50 percent of uh, the, the probability is 50 percent or the data will fall within that 50 percent. Median for example is f inverse of 0.5 because f of x equal to 0.5 uh, that is the probability cumulative uh, probability uh, of finding the value to be half um, is uh, the uh, f of 0.5. So, f inverse uh, um, uh, f of x equal to 0.5. So, f inverse basically gives you that x value for which this happens which is the median. So, similarly you can define quantiles and deciles and percentiles and so on. Uh, for example, qth quantile is that x for which f of x is equal to q. So, f inverse of q is then x. So, these are some of the prob properties of probability distributions and then we are going to look at each one of the distributions uh, that uh, we have mentioned um, some discrete like uh, binomial. Um, poison and so on and uh, some of them are uh, continuous um, um, like uh, normal um, chi squared f t and so on. So, we are going to look at all these uh, distributions and uh, we are going to learn how to work with them and how to generate some of these quantities. So, we are interested in generating the density functions, uh, cumulative distribution functions 
and the quantile functions which are basically the f inverses, the inverses of the cumulative functions as well as generating the random variates. So, that is what uh, we want to do um, in, the, in the following sessions um, and we will start with the discrete probability distribution in the next session. Thank you.